Well, it's done. I ran the Gary Bjorklin half marathon as part of the Grandma's Marathon circuits that they do every year in Duluth. I uh, did it virtually this year. They had the option to do it in person. They only sold half the number of in-person entra uh, entries this year versus how many they normally sell. And the rest were virtual. Last year, every participant had to do it virtually. But this year, they did change it where um, some people could still do it virtually. But in the case that things didn't improve with the pandemic, they were going to have everything still be virtual again. Uh, personally, I just thought it'd be better to get the virtual one. I didn't quite know how things were going to be by then. Um, I bought the tickets back in like in uh, October. So I wasn't quite sure how things were going to be by you know, June of this year, there wasn't even like a vaccine in October. So I was like, kind of in a state of like, I don't feel like things are going to improve. And I feel like people are going to just start giving up. And then I feel like they'll have this race regardless. I don't know. <laughs> um, so I just thought it'd be safe uh, to just do the virtual one. Uh, so in hindsight, like, I, I guess not now I, I wish it would have not been the virtual one. But, you know, next year, there's always next year. And uh, this year, I was like, oh, I'm fine with the virtual. Uh, just started from my house, went out uh, 6.6 .6 miles, came back. So technically, um, if you're going out 6.6 .6 miles and then coming back 6.6 .6 miles, that's 13.2 miles. It's not quite, uh, it's a little more than 13.1 miles, the half marathon. So then you have to cut off a little more uh, before, yeah, yeah a little, you had to cut a little bit off the entire amount as you're coming home. So uh, I just woke up. I was planning to do it at 5.30 because uh, I just wanted out of the way in the morning. I ended up leaving at 7 o'clock instead. Uh, a little before 7 o'clock. That's just how it happened. And honestly, um, I haven't had a huge uh, training schedule for running this year. Um, I basically just stuck to the notion of you should go running every day. So I did that. And I did it quite a bit. I mean, as you saw in some of the videos, I was even running a little bit during the winter. Um, as best as I could, even when I would go traveling places like my parents' house or travel to uh, south of the state, we would stay somewhere. I would bring my running stuff and I would go running at some point, either the next day in the morning or uh, later at night. So I was getting in running like every single day. So I guess it kind of made sense uh, that going on this run this year that I actually felt pretty good. I felt pretty uh, well refined, as in I could keep my pace. Um, I didn't end up too sore with everything. Uh, nothing was bugging me, and um, I didn't get too tired out. I was feeling pretty good about halfway through it. I felt like I could easily get this whole thing done. I didn't have any expectations for my overall time. I had my personal time that was couple uh, I think in 2019 or even 2018 so I had like a personal best um which you know it, in the grand scheme of things isn't that impressive like there's other people who are even more just uh regular runners at this I can do better than my time but you know this is just this is just me where I'm at given the kind of you know relaxed moderate running that I do so I had the half marathon in 2018 at like two hours 15 minutes and then the next year I had it again at two hours 15 minutes that was in 2019 uh with a couple seconds added so I, I'm pretty close to always having that amount um last year's virtual run was kind of a mess just because I tried to do it with the uh railroad tracks which you're not supposed to do uh don't recommend it you're not supposed to do it it's actually not even technically legal because it's actually private property so like I was given that whole spiel uh, they're very nice about it, but it's like, I didn't even realize it's, you can't do that. And then I kind of went off track. And also just even running on the train tracks, so like, the the terrain that is near my house is a lot different than it is 13 miles out, which was kind of my plan. I was going to run 13 mile, 13.1 miles all the way on the railroad tracks to my house. But the earlier portions of the railroad tracks have a completely different terrain that's not very easy to run on. So I think that kind of screwed me up last year. But this year, 
had no expectations. And I felt with a virtual run, it's just kind of hard to know, you know, pacing because there's not really people to run with. There's not even like the like the flag guys that you can kind of follow to who are like holding their times for like what the pacing should be if you want to have this time. And, you know, there's not any mile markers, so it's kind of hard to keep track of how many miles you're running. Um, I don't have an Apple Watch, so, you know, that makes it a little more difficult. By the time I was done, my actual pedometer said I ran 14 miles, which is just not true at all. So it's not even very accurate. Uh, but I went out, got to my like 6.6 .6 miles, which was out in 6.6 uh, <laughs> .6 miles away from my house. And I started heading back and I felt pretty good. And uh, I was just taking it relaxed this year. I was like, you know, this isn't going to be any special deal. I'm not going to be able to get a PR or anything like that. Why, why make a big deal out of this? It was only when I got to like, uh, started heading back and I was starting to look at my time that I was keeping track on. And I was like, unbelievable. I, I'm actually doing incredibly well, very well. But because I was kind of taking it at a relaxed pace and I've got a lot of energy still, I don't think I have enough time or enough speed anyways to get a PR at this point. Uh, I finished with two hours, 22 minutes. As I said before, my personal best was two hours, 15 minutes, which I did two years in a row before the virtual runs came in and to me are just kind of a different experience altogether. So next year, it gives me hope that if I kind of keep up my running, maybe I could actually get a PR next year. But it also made me realize today, I was like, if I would have just maybe kept that speed a little bit more, I maybe could have actually gotten a PR and been just a little more exhausted. Because I mean, it's still exhausting. Doing this in general is still exhausting. But I was significantly feeling more better at the end than I have in previous years. It could just be because um, I'm keeping a better routine of actually going running every day rather than, you know, you know, my previous years, it's very in and out. And I think I trained a little harder, but it would always be in spurts. It wasn't throughout the whole year. Whereas this year, while I don't think I was training as hard um, and not going as far as of distances, I was still running every single day regardless, which I think in turn ended up being better for my overall, um, you know, keeping my exhaustion in, but now it makes me realize, I was like, oh, with this race, I might have actually been able to make, like, a PR out of this, um, which is too bad, but, you know, it's, it's whatever, there's always next year, there's other half marathons you can always do, too, but I just, you know, that's the thing, I don't know if I want to get too into, like, doing other races elsewhere, I, I like this one, um, it's kind of a crazy, it's a crazy thing to do, I still think it is. It's insane the fact that so many people do it. It just, it makes me realize, well, there's so many insane people out there. Even as I do it, I just feel like I'm insane. Um, but next year, I think will be the year. I feel good, but um, it's uh, also, I'm just like, I, I feel like I could have brought more and it's too bad I didn't really realize it because I, uh, I wasn't doing a good enough job this year of keeping track of my times on certain runs so if I maybe start focusing on that maybe I can actually better materialize what kind of time I could get a half marathon out of but we'll work on that for next year so fifth half marathon done it's a crazy experience but people are crazy thanks for watching